Welcome back to Let's Play Shantae, Half Genie Hero. I'm Burning Dog Face, and we're here at the item store because I've got all the money. We, uh. spent a lot of time running around and fying. fying? Yes, fying. A fi on you and both your families. Um. What am I actually trying to say? Yes! Finding treasure and not actually accomplishing anything as far as the plot goes. We sure found a whole lot of fucking loot, didn't we? What? No. Uh, summon a cloud to strike lightning on your foes. Consumes magic. Storm puff for 40. Bubble! A shield that absorbs certain projectiles. Consumes magic. For 50. Yes. Uh... Yeah, okay, let's get the shampoo then. Increase the damage dealt by your hair. Now, I assume Shantae bathes, so I'm going to assume this is special shampoo, specifically designed for slapping people with your hair. Ah, oh, what the hell. Super Attract automatically draws in gems and hearts from a greater distance. Well, I suppose I would be able to dis disable it if I really didn't like the effect. I'm reminded of, uh... What was it? Assassin's Creed Revelations. Yeah, they had, uh, some poison in the Ezio era of, uh, Assassin's Creed games. Where you just stick someone with it, and then they start hallucinating and start waving their sword around to create a huge commotion. Until they just drop dead from poison. You know, like they're hallucinating monsters all around them or something. Oh, neat. But, uh... Assassin's Creed Revelations took all the fun out of it with an upgrade called Fast Poison, which causes your target to just drop dead in a few seconds. And I remember thinking, well, that doesn't feel like an upgrade to me, because it's nowhere near as, uh, distracting for the guards or as entertaining for me. So I'm very glad that Chante allows you to just opt out of upgrades. So sure, since I'm getting quite a lot of them, uh, these forms by now, Metronome increases the speed of the transformation dances for 50. Now that I'm a number of gems lighter, let's get the hell out of here. You're welcome. Now, I did take the slightest peek into what I'm supposed to do next, because let's be honest, none of us had any idea. Unless you played it before, but that's cheating. Um... Yeah, I found this really nice walkthrough, all done up in text, like in the old days. Maybe nostalgic. But it does mean that I could read it one line at a time and avoid being casually spoiled in anything. So I can tell you, we're going to Mermaid Falls. Away! Looking for a platform. One of those, uh, ruin platforms. With, uh... Huh. Have I looked down there as the mermaid yet? Oh, that is just absurd. I don't like that. It's actually increasing the tempo feels... way off. I mean, it does make it a lot simpler to, uh, wait for the thing to roll around, but... Yeah, I don't know if I like that. I didn't even think it would change the beat of the music, that just... Mm. I actually thought that it would make it harder to grab them at first. Because, uh... Well, I don't know. It made sense in my head. Like... You know, if it's only uh, on the elephant there for a fraction of a second, I thought it would just make it harder to actually get the elephant instead of, oops, I turned into a spider. You know, like that. But, uh... I mean, that one was intentional, but you get the idea. Up to six from five, huh? Ooh, honestly, that's kind of giving me a headache. I am going to turn that off. 
Oops. Belly dancing was not meant to be done to fast-paced music. It's one of these platforms with a waterfall in the middle, I know that. Aha! Could this be it? Uh, I thought I had a waterfall in the middle. Am I just being foolish? Aha! Mind you, I don't actually know how this is going to help me, just that this is where I need to be. Scratch my eye, and I had time to do that before the mouse came up. Nice. Alright, this is clearly where I'm meant to be doing, but... Oh, fuck! I forgot that it doesn't stop. Oh! Right, there's no stopping here. Yeah, you can't just make her stop at all unless you touch a wall. So I'm just gonna wait right here. Look how big that block up there is. Compared to me, anyway. No! Yes. I'll bite your head off, evil worms. Oh, hey, that looks important. It seems to be somewhat generous about the uh, range of that attack, thankfully. Huh. It really is a wizard. Yeah, that's right, they did say there was a wizard here. And then I guess in my mind I just conflated that with a homeless guy. Sup? Ah, oh, oh my gosh, a wizard, right? Well, don't worry, I'm a good wizard. You got any candy? I'm a sucker for candy. In fact, I'd raise a town to the ground just to get my hands on some sugary sweet... Heh, <laughs> ignore that. Inside voice, heh. <laughs> but I could use some candy. Wait a tick, I thought you didn't have any candy. Now you do? You gave lollipop. Wow, I mean wow, candy out of nowhere. You, my friend, are a real wizard. Here, for you. You got Light Shard. That's a Light Shard made out of crystal. Wizards gotta have a crystal, right? Am I right? Answer me! <laughs> Just kidding. We're good. You enjoy that. Contains light magic. Uncle will want to see this. Huh. Well, I guess I'll just get my way out of here. Excuse me. I bet that's, like, the perfect bubblegum flavor right there. <laughs> He's just using his magic to make more candy. How do I get up to that one? These are the platforms I was on. Oh, I see. No! But how do I get down there now? Oh, oh god. Oh, look! That one also connects there. Is that one I've been on, though? Nope! Okay, close enough. Hmm. 
Over here. Aw, uh, yeah. Feels good. Let's not allow myself to get crushed. Okay, so I go this way. Fuck, I did not plan that out very well. Ah! Jeez! Oh, okay, they can't squish me. That's good. Is it legal to be this adorable? Well, now what am I meant to do here? Well, I guess I'll just have to try my best. Oh, no, that didn't work. That didn't work at all. Fuck. Yeah, that's the entrance to the factory right there. Oh, well. Huh, am I missing something, or have I just not seen the way in yet? It's really itching at me, you guys. I'm not even sure where the entrance is. I thought it was going to be up there, but... It just led up the sa side of a damn wall again. Oh. Huh. Actually, while I'm up here... Oh, uh, hi. I mean, fair enough. She is covered in spikes, and she did walk right into me. Excuse me. Maybe if I can line it up with a platform just there. That would be nice. I don't think it's going to be possible because... Son of a bitch. I just love that V of a smile right there. Yes! Victory belongs to Burning Dog Face this day! <laughs> Maybe a bit too dramatic, but still. I thought these little caterpillar guys would have gotten such a dramatic death. Oh shit. Show me your secrets. All these T's have to be important for some reason. Hmm, this isn't where I thought I was going to go. Oh, Red. You got Gallery Key. Seven of them now, I think? What am I doing? Yes, Mouse, Mouse, I remember now. Oh, I just completely drew a blank there as I distracted myself with thoughts of all the concept art. It's like I can only carry one thought at a time. <laughs> oop, oop. Aha! I didn't accomplish anything, I just liked doing it. Fast. It's like each of them only has a specific amount of time in order to move back and forth between their two points, and uh, if it's a really big distance, it just moves hella fast. Nope.
Where did that other one come from? What the fuck is that? Oh, you know that looks like the uh, the sparkle from the dream. The voice from the genie world. I wonder why all the genies left. I wonder if that was a plot point they established in like Shantae, the first one, so they don't ever bother explaining it again. Which would be weird because that was a uh, Game Boy Color game that, as I understand it, very few people played. traffic. It's like they'll let anybody be tiny these days. <laughs> oh! How dare you! Now you will never harm another soul. Huh. Cool! You got Heart Holder. Uh, I can't help but notice that this is absolutely nowhere near where I thought I was going to be. There's a connection off in the left there, but I don't see how you get there because there are no platforms moving in. Huh. Maybe that's just meant to be the exit. But I don't think that's the portal that was above the, uh, the wizard. Above the wizard, or is it to the side of the wizard? Whatever. Where does this go? Okay, yeah, mermaid form. Yeah, that was an important one. The mermaid form, and, uh... A few of the forms have no ability to defend themselves at all. And I find myself, uh, imagining purely to entertain myself. Alright, that's where that is. Hang on, there's just not an up in there, is there? Like an exit? No. No, I would have had to go right under that in order to go there. Wait a minute. Oh, right, okay, they just used the sparkle thing then. It wasn't the same light at all, that was just the wizard. Yeah, they hit the sparkle there quite nicely in the waterfall. Well, it turned out to be more optional stuff for the most part, but, uh, hey, that's cool. Let's do it again. Uh, oh no! I must escape before I get crushed. Back to town. Okay. At last, a thing has been accomplished. Just checking. Here you go. The last piece. You found a light shard. That's for me, right? No. You're kidding, right? <laughs> yes, actually. It attaches right next to the dark shard. Right up... Here! Wonderful! There's only one piece left, Uncle. Yep. We're almost at the end. Oh gosh, speaking of which, I need to split. After all, I gotta enjoy life while we still can. Okay. Roddy, why do you keep saying that? You know, the thought did just now occur to me. Like, the first time I thought it was just a joke on the fact that she's, you know, dead, but, uh... Huh? Oh, haven't you heard? About... The end of the world! The Hypno Baron is summoning a creature of unspeakable horror. The Robe Guy? From Risky's Revenge? He didn't even show up in the last game. I think. A creature of unspeakable horror. I want to squeeze in as much fun as possible before the beast begins its world-ending rampage. Say what?! 
Actually, I could use a lift. I'm going to ask Featherhead for a ride to the Hypno Baron's castle. Maybe I can get a front row seat. Here's a map if you want to come. <laughs> you got Hypno Baron's castle map. See ya! There's no way I can stand by and let Hypno Baron summon some giant beast! One more time, Uncle, then I promise to help you finish your machine. Uh, so many distractions today. Just promise you'll be careful. I will, Uncle. The world ends, I'm taking tomorrow off. <laughs> the, the, the way it's like, no more distractions today, it, it reminded me of uh, this poster they put up when they were first like pre-marketing uh, the animated series the Powerpuff Girls. Or it just shows the Powerpuff Girls, and one of them, they're sitting at desks, one of them is raising her hand, and she's saying, Excuse me, teacher, could we be excused to save the world? That was an interesting first note to uh, find out about that series, the very first impression. But uh, the timer has gone, so with that uh, mess finally revealed, I'll see you on the next episode of Let's Play Shantae, Half Genie Hero, when we uh, head off to save the world from the Hypno Baron. Later.